Selamat pagi, apa kabar? That means good morning, how are you in Indonesian? So today we are going to be traveling from the south of Kuta all the way up to the north of Bali to Singaraja to visit my grandparents. Um, so they live there, so all the roads are winding, there's a lot of traffic with the motorcycles and we're going to be going through mountains. So we're going to go exchange our Canadian money to Indonesian rupiah at the money changer. So this is Indonesian rupiah. This is ten dollars Canadian, a hundred thousand rupiah. Stopped on the side of the road to get some lunch. We ate at Fajung. That's the name of this place. And looks like this place has an unreal view. Rice paddies. And there's mountains over there, or volcanoes. We're gonna go over here to order some food. Got some more chicken saute, steaming hot. And we also have some peanut sauce, the signature for Indonesian food. So we got some more nasi goreng with a fried egg and chicken saute, keropok, which is shrimp chips. I'm gonna go down here and see what's down here. So there's a market area down here. What's with all the penises? <laughs> the statues of painted dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Bali is very good. Great English. <laughs> oh, and we got some more penises over here. Cool keychain ones. My dad wants to buy one. <laughs> Who are you giving that to? Someone at the office. Kites are super popular in Indonesia. You see them in the sky everywhere. Everyone flies kites. Alright, time to go back up to the car and go around the mountain and the windy twisty roads I have arrived to my grandparents so this is my grandparents house in Singaraja Bali this house is about 120 years old it runs a long way back in my family and they live on a very very busy street so we've got gates to close off and kind of keep those more private and Si Chokki is my family's Chinese name. And over here on the wall, there's a picture of me and my cousins. Okay, let's go inside. So this is the uh, opening, I guess, living room. We've got a little TV space over here. Nice and open. Up on the walls, there's another picture of me and my dad and my cousins. So over here, we have another room. This table here has pictures of my great-grandparents. So I think this is my great-grandmother. This is my great-grandfather. This piano is actually where I first learned to play piano ever. Back in 2004, I came here. And this is where I learned to play piano and began to play music. So this is our bathroom. And we have, a sh it's very blue. We have a big, giant shower here. Um, hoses and a bucket and stuff. So this right here is where my grandmother prays and it's a mix of Hindu and Chinese Buddhism. So she, they pray to the Chinese Buddhist goddess Qinyin here. And there's also a little Hindu temple outside which I'll show you in a bit. 
This is a new kitchen, but they don't use it. It's kind of just for show, but it's all brand new. And then over here, best part, we have an unlimited supply of salat and mini bananas. My favorite fruit, so that's good. This is the actual kitchen where they actually cook. And then coming out over here, you're gonna go into the courtyard. So we have like the like, hallway, there's a roof, but out here is the courtyard and it's so pretty. And there's a pond with fish in it. But this is where they wash the clothes. You know that I can. So we're gonna go over here. So over here, this is the little temple we have in the courtyard for prayers, the Hindu temple. And then this right here is the guava tree. And it's full of guava fruit. So that's the house. It's very different culturally. So we're gonna be staying here for a couple days. Oops. We'll come back also throughout the rest of the trip. It'll be like a home base. But yeah, this is what my grandparents' house looks like. Paris dinner. These are the guavas. Town Baru Tulodin. So right now the Muslim call to prayer is happening. So they broadcast it over a microphone loudspeaker across the town or city. So you can hear it five times a day from here. So this is called a salat. It's my favorite fruit here. You can't get it in Canada. I can't find it anywhere. Um, but basically it looks like um, an armadillo on the, the skin. It kind of looks like snake skin. So you just peel the skin off and the inside kind of looks like a giant garlic. It's very hard and I am obsessed with these. I've been eating these every single day. So this is what the inside looks like and there's always three pieces and you just break them apart. Each piece has a, a big seed in the middle and all you do is just eat it like this. And salat is so good. Yay!